Hello fellow travelers and welcome back to our Biggs Adventure. My name is Cynthia and today we are going to make my most requested dessert at my recovery meetings. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am in long-term addiction recovery. I do have almost 13 years of sobriety at the end of the summer. Uh, September, I'll have 13 years of continuous clean and sober time. It is a double layer chocolate pudding Oreo crust dessert. One thing I love about this dessert is I don't have to cook anything. So that is wonderful, especially in the summer in Florida because it is so hot here. Let me tell you what you're gonna need if you wanna make this recipe with me. You're gonna need some chocolate chips because these are gonna go on the top. I like the mini ones to put on the top. The recipe actually calls for chocolate shavings, but I don't do chocolate shavings. These are a lot more economical and I can use the other half of the bag to make some quick bread for Mr. Biggs and put some chocolate chips in there for him as a surprise. So you're gonna need chocolate chips or chocolate shavings if you're fancy. You're gonna need some Oreo cookies. These are the great value Oreo cookies. They work just as well as any other kind of Oreo cookies or chocolate sandwich cookies or whatever you wanna call them. You're gonna need some margarine. Now, I've made this recipe before with margarine. Last time I made it with butter and the crust came out like a rock. Like I couldn't even cut it. So, not no bueno, I don't like that. Back to margarine we go. You're gonna need two boxes of Jell-O white chocolate pudding. This is more expensive than the generic kind, but totally worth it. If you wanted to do a milk chocolate, dark chocolate combination, if you wanted to do all one type of pudding, totally fine. But this is the most requested dessert and I don't wanna mess with it because everybody super loves it. A double box of regular chocolate pudding. This was super cheap at Walmart, so I picked it up so we can make the dessert. A tub of Cool Whip. This is from Aldi, it's less than a dollar. You're gonna need milk. now. I love milk and it does not love me back. It makes me have a rash all over my legs and it makes my feet super itchy and it makes me have a super runny nose, but I love milk. Mm, I miss you so much. You're gonna need a bowl to melt your margarine, some bowls for mixing, and I also have my food processor over here off camera where you can't see it. So these are the ingredients that you're gonna need to make the double layer chocolate dessert. The lady I'm making the dessert for has over 25 years of sobriety. So that, that deserves a round of applause for her. So we're gonna put the whole package of Oreo cookies into the food processor. Lucky for you, I'm gonna play some music and speed this up while I do it so you don't have to listen. I've ever mentioned before, but Cookie Lou hates the food processor. So yeah, that's exciting when it goes off for her. And not exciting in a good way. It survived. <laughs> not well, it survived though. I'm just gonna turn these out into this bowl. These cookies have gluten in them, so I'm going to be touching my face. It's part of a home cooks kitchen I'm gonna touch my face. Whenever you see me touch my face, it's gluten. Yeah, for real. Okay, there are cookie crumbs everywhere. I'm gonna clean those up in a second, but right now I'm going to melt my margarine. I'm gonna use a whole stick. All nice and melted. Pour that in there. Give that a small stir just to get all the butter in there. There's another cookie that survived. Cookie Lou is waiting by the trash can like the crocodile in Peter Pan. Just waiting for me to drop something. Next up is I'm gonna take the butter wrapper and just kind of run it around in the bottom. 
I'm not going to bake this, but still it kind of helps to get it out. And this is a 9 by 13 glass pan. You can make it in a metal pan if you want. I just usually use this glass pan when we go to recovery meeting. Everyone knows that it's mine and they just give it back to me. So I'm going to turn this crust out. My hands are clean because I wash them after I cleaned up the cookie crumbs. I keep saying cookie and my dog keeps looking at me like, I'm right here, duh. Okay, I'm gonna pop this in the fridge. Wash my hands first and this bowl. This is still frozen, so I'm gonna be waiting a little bit for that. Mix with two cups of milk. And I'm gonna make the white chocolate layer first because I don't know why. Nope, it's not how it goes. <laughs> okay, but I'm still gonna make the white chocolate layer first. And we're gonna need two cups of milk for that too. And I have no idea what I'm gonna do with the rest of that gallon of milk because they had no half gallons of milk at Walmart when I went, which I love dairy so much. Like I mentioned, it doesn't love me back. We're gonna need four cups of milk, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> what I usually do is I reduce the milk by a half a cup so that the pudding sets a little firmer. So there's three and a half. There we go, three and a half. Let's make the chocolate pudding. And I remember now why I make the white pudding first is because I can use the same whisk on the dark chocolate. This calls for three cups of milk. I'm actually going to use two and a half. I can use the same whisk without having to wash it because white chocolate in the dark doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it's already starting to set. Mm. Okay, clean up a mess here. Our crust is out. Good. It looks fine. Time to start spooning the layers. So this is the white chocolate pudding and it is it's like soft set. It didn't take very long. And we're just gonna spoon that over the top here. I can't tell you how much I love that this is my most requested dessert. How it works in our recovery meeting is um, I do my service work by baking. So when your year anniversary comes, I actually bake every week, but when your year anniversary comes, I will make you whatever dessert you want. So I have made everything from a homemade sweetened condensed milk cake with coconut to, oh, Loretta, my Loretta. She was one of my dearest friends in recovery. She loved lemon cake and I would make it with a with orange jello in it. It was very, very cool recipe. Um, she just loved, 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 loved it. And every year on her anniversary, I made that for her. And she was actually killed on the way home from our recovery meeting by a drunk driver. So that was, devastating to everybody in the community and she was such a nice lady. I mean, you didn't get any more awesome than Loretta. I'm gonna put a splash more milk in this pudding because it is super thick. Try to thin it out a little bit. It's pretty set, so let's see if we can't get the chocolate on top of there. And my advice when you make this is to kind of blob it and then spread. Don't blob it all in one because you'll mess up the layers. I think that's like a really chefy technical term, blob. You want to blob <laughs> the pudding layers together. I, I, I think that's pretty good. Now, 
I don't have any children at home because my husband and I are empty nesters, but man, wouldn't a kid love that? The kid in me wants to eat it, but we're not doing that today. I think I'm going to need a spoon. So you'll have to comment down below and let me know, do you lick the beaters when you cook? Do you have kiddos that lick the beaters? How does it go in your house? I always say that I have to taste at least one for science. You know, just for science. This pudding is so thick. I have never seen Walmart pudding do this. So it's gonna be a ride. It's gonna be a, a journey getting this top layer to go. So rather than struggle any further with this, it's so thick. I've never seen Walmart pudding do that before. It's crazy. I usually buy two boxes of the Aldi pudding. So this is an animal I'm familiar with as far as this goes. And thankfully I had one in my pantry. So I was really happy about that. And I am actually gonna make this with the full two cups of milk. I. I don't know what happened, but you know what? The good news is when you're cooking, you can always do a course correction if something happens. And thankfully, I'm so thankful right now that I actually had this in my pantry. Just making sure that it's actually still two cups of milk because things, things have gone awry today, man. That's okay. I'm gonna roll with it. That's what I get for trying to leave behind my precious Aldi. I get something I'm not familiar with, but that's all right. You know what, we're just moving on. It's gonna taste delicious anyway. All right, let's see what we can do here. Oh yeah, this is much better. I don't, like I said, I don't know. Much more what I'm used to. Oh, look how pretty it is. Yeah, just smooth that right out over that white chocolate layer. I, I don't know as if I've ever bought Walmart pudding before, but I can tell you that I probably won't buy it again. And that's okay. We don't really eat pudding. So, but I do make this dessert a lot. This is the most requested. So that's pretty full, but I think we're going to be fine with our Cool Whip layer. Every single fiber of me wants to lick that, but I'm going to go put it in the sink so that I don't. Normally I would take a little paper towel or whatever and clean the edges, but we're ready for the Cool Whip layer and we are really close to the top. So I'm not going to do that this time. We're still really frozen for this cool whip. So I'll bring you back when we're ready. This is gonna go hang out in the fridge. This is gonna hang out on the counter until it's nice. And Our dessert is done. It's all nice and set. It's super good. We've got some layers going on the sides. Now we're just gonna put the whipped cream on the top. Now that it's all thawed out. My son popped by for a minute and asked me to cut his hair, so I was able to do that. That was really nice. Get a chance to visit with him while I was waiting for the dessert. And my laundry. It's definitely a Saturday at my house. Got laundry going, cooking going. Trying to get everything cleaned after being having a very busy week in this corner. Mm. That looks pretty yummy to me. Now the best part, we're gonna put the chocolate chips on the top. Not a ton of chocolate chips, just enough so that it looks I mean, you could put pretty much anything you wanted to on the top of this. Um, 
the lady I'm making the dessert for is a chocolate fanatic. She loves everything that's chocolate. So I have been making her dessert for her for 12 years. Interesting story. The first time I ever, she asked, the first time I ever made her anything, she asked for a chocolate cake and I made her a chocolate birthday cake and I put Oh, I think a 13 on the top with those little candles that you buy for a child. And she is an older lady. She's old enough to be my mother, maybe a little older than that. And she said no one had ever made her a handmade birthday cake before. And I felt really sad about that. But anyway, there it is, it's all done. It looks good. My A layers aren't perfect, but let me tell you what, when I put the spatula in this, everybody's gonna love it. So that's it, we're all done. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you'd like to see the crazy videos of an almost 50 year old gluten-free lady who is in recovery and loves to crochet and loves animals, if you're down for that, I'm down too. Hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a like and feel free to comment. I do reply to every comment on my channel. Thank you again, and remember everybody, enjoy your journey. Bye-bye.